From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big noontime here on LA with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. First, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we turn to the $3.5 trillion recon deal. We have a deal for the price tag. $3.5 trillion of checks coming to you in the fourth stimulus recon. I'll go over some of those checks. It's a lot of money and a lot of details. It's coming up in this recording. Then we cut to the vote, the bills, the dates, everything you need to know. As we get into this final 14 minutes, I have all the details in the final 15 of this video. And then we cut to the big money across the board as your money is lifted up under fifth stimulus. SSI, SSDI, veterans, and more. But what's going on with the interest rates today? Are the interest rates signaling that inflation is going down? I'll explain all the details. And then we cut to the big money that viewers continue to get, tens of thousands of dollars across the board. It's a big day. It's a big noontime. I have a lot of exciting breaking news for you, starting right here, right now, on Light. Hey, good noon time, everybody. How you doing? Hope you're having a great week. How's the weather where you are? It got cooler, wonderfully cool on the weekend, then hotter this morning, but suddenly it started getting cooler in the last few minutes. It's pleasant at the moment, so I'm happy. <laughs> you're giving me some good weather vibes. How's the weather you where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, so much breaking news, so much breaking news. First, we're gonna go over that monthly stimulus check and why you're likely to get more months of checks. We'll be cutting to the, th the fourth stimulus recon, deal, $3.5 trillion of checks for you. I'll be going over what all that money is going to be sending out to you for. It's all very different, very exciting, and very comprehensive. You're going to get coverage. And then we cut to the bills, the votes, everything that you need to know about what they're doing tomorrow, what they're doing the day after. And also understand how we're so close to the finish line that things are getting very exciting. Then we cut to fifth stimulus, which raises your benefits up if you are SSI and SSDI. Those was what promised on the campaign trail. It's now coming to fruition under fifth stimulus. But what's going on with Wall Street with that downturning market and the crashing treasury bonds today? Does that single inflation is going down? Or is that something else? I'll explain all the details of that as well. And then we cut to the big money that viewers continue to get tens of thousands of dollars, like Nisi, who got $23,000. It's your day to get this big money as well. And this is Ally, America's only 24 hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, like right now, live in Santa Monica, and then taped in the afternoons with Afternoons LA coming up next, then Evenings LA, then some uh, wonderful Overnight's Crypto Live, and then Sirloin. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video and consider becoming a member and jump into the live chat right now. So many breaking details across the board. Let's start with that monthly stimulus check and why Wall Street is crashing. Why is Wall Street crashing? The pandemic. The pandemic is not over, folks. It is really not over. 50 states have now shown a rise of the pandemic across the board. And so when you look at the House bill, pandemic plus one year, likely to give pandemic plus one year. It was three weeks ago we thought that maybe the House bill would just give you one year of checks, but no longer the case. House bill, pandemic plus one year monthly stimulus check, Senate proposal July to December. House payout 1,000 after the first month, 2,000 the first month. Senate approach, House that was the House amount, Senate approach monthly unknown, but we're on the streets, the Senate would pay you this deliciousness, <laughs> $2,000 over six months, $12,000 or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. Three weeks ago, we said maybe the pandemic was over. Two weeks ago, we said maybe the pandemic is not over. Now today, very clear, pandemic is absolutely out of control, not at over at all. 50 states surging. In fact, the numbers of the Delta concerns are so much staggeringly worse today than even Saturday's details is that we're really, really needing a stimulus check. 
this is a very bad situation, really amplifying very quickly. You see me cover the subject a while, but I never saw the ramp up, the escalation so move so quickly. Because LA was talking about putting their masks back on about two weeks ago. On Thursday, they said it's back on, mask mandates mandatory. But since Thursday to today, the news is really snowballing. So the House bill would likely get more than 13, more than 12 checks because it would be pandemic plus one year, which would be for the House more than $13,000. Let's compare that to this on the Senate. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think I have an opinion. Vote right now. Vote House of Senate. House of Senate. Vote in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. House of Senate. House of Senate. Boy, uh, if you had an opinion before, it's probably changed. For stimulus, who gets it? Democrats represent that if you got a third stimulus check, they want to give you a fourth. Single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check as well, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans. The forced stimulus check is not income, it's not taxable. The forced stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone, including adult dependents. And the forced stimulus check is not a waivable check. It's a monthly check. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I surprised viewers with the first ever live broadcast on location for many, many months. Just sort of threw out the phone and started pressing record. And while I was on the beach, and I was looking around to see if I recognized anyone, <clears throat> one viewer said, hey, is that the check over there? Wave. <laughs> That's what the viewer said in the live chat. He said, I like wave at the check. I tried to wave at the check. I thought it was the check. Check did not wave back. <laughs> so there you go. The viewers told me. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you interact with at the beach? I love it. The voice to a chunk would come in the month of July. They can still get in the month of July. And in the month of August, for the month of August. But while they didn't get the vote done by July 4th, they're doing a vote tomorrow. But it's not the vote you think it is. I'll explain the details for you. In the second part of this video, we'll be going over the deal. We got a deal. $3.5 trillion of checks for you. The recon is all checks, and there's going to be $3.5 trillion of it. Yes! I'm going to go over some of the items that you're getting money for. You're all getting checks. It's very comprehensive. There's no group that's really left out. And in the third part of this video, we'll be going over the vote. Everything you need to know, the vote, the bill, the date, everything that's at issue, so that you're the most informed viewer there is, because, boy, it's going to get confusing this week, but you're not going to be confused because you're going to know all the details. But first, let's get a preview of the second half of this video. It's fist stimulus, and your benefits will be raised up based upon a new benchmark of inflation. But the Wall Street's crashing, and the 10-year Treasury note is at its lowest level in months today. So does that mean we're going to get less benefits? Does that mean rates are going down, inflation's going down? I'm going to explain the details coming up in the later part of this video. But let's get some money. Get a pen and paper ready, and it cannot be a Crayola crown that's muddled, because we don't do muddled anything. I'm going to go over the big money that we've gotten from this channel, and what you've got, and it has been incredible. Jump in the live chat right now and post the rent you got. Post the utilities. Post the snap. Post the internet you got because you are killing it. Viewers have learned really well that this channel gets you a lot of money, but they've gone over and aboard, over and above. I had said I can get you $5,000 of rent, approximately four to six months of rent. Viewers are getting $15,000, $12,000 regularly, daily. Nisi got $20,000 from this channel for rent and $3,000 additionally. Wow. For utilities, I said I can get you $300 for utilities. Viewers are getting $3,000 for utilities regularly. And when we talk about SNAP, I said five to $6,000 for SNAP viewers are getting. But now viewers like John are getting ten dollars to $12,000. You're killing it. Post your success stories in the live chat. What's going on this is what this channel does. In April of last year, people were not getting their EIDL loans or EIDL grants. No check to track. It wasn't coming, but we cashed some checks, $25 million of checks to, check, to cash. When I got people their EID loans, I got them their loans approved. Then a second stimulus in fall of last year, there was no check to come. It wasn't coming. There was no check to track, but we cashed some checks, $250,000 of them. I got viewers rent like Tyrone during the holidays in December, paying all his rent to next spring. Family of four out of Boston, $15,000. And now we're doing it again. And we're doing it again. So get that pen and paper ready. We're going to go over sums of money. We're going to get some rent for you, some utilities, some mortgage, and also homeowners utilities. Each place has different eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next until it says yes. Don't take yourself out of the equation saying, do I, don't, I don't know if I qualify. Just apply. 
You're going to reach out to different places, and each place is different. Here you go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, your state house authority. Six places. Each place has different eligibility. Keywords you say, viewers tell me, are critical in getting approval. They say these keywords are what's getting them approved. You say rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus, or that time that Mitch went to um, Double Jeopardy, uh, and the uh, question from Alex. <clears throat> no, I just, I, I, <laughs> what did Mitch say? No stimulus. <laughs> what was his answer in Double Jeopardy? I don't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Congratulations, Tim and Linda, who got this wonderful pot of money. If you got money for rent, post in the live chat right now. Let's go to some snap. Lang Lang got it for herself and her son and her mom. Gail got it as well. And John got ten to twelve thousand dollars. Wow. What is snap? It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family for it gets upwards of sixteen thousand dollars in Hawaii now. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raise your benefits up now between now and December for fifteen percent nationally. So go get it. Congratulations to those who got it. If you got Snap as well, jump in the live chat. And we're killing it. You're killing it. We're only, what, 11 minutes of this video, and we've gotten $15,000 for Snap for Family 4 in Hawaii, $5,000 at least for rent, and we got more money, and it's starting right now. It's the money coming back from your states due to overpayment of unemployment benefits. States have been ordered to return money back to you due to computer error. One viewer got $3,000 for this. Another viewer got $5,000. Where is it landing? Direct deposit. When are you going to eat it? Uh, call your state to track it. And when you call them up, say, hey, state, um, where is that check due to overpayment of unemployment benefits? And can you track it with a computer that actually works? And the last part of the money is the refund check back from IRS for the taxes you paid on that 2020 return. Margaret got it, Cog got it, Michael got it, but we have an update. It comes from IRS. There's another round that came out this week, and there'll be a new round of payments every week all throughout the summer. The latest round paid a lot. The average payment of the latest round this week is $1,265. Wow. The average, the latest round started direct deposit on July 14th and the paper checks on July 16th. How much? Let's reach out. Let's go over the details. First, let's say you had five thousand. Let's say you had nine thousand dollars of total unemployment benefits. You pay five thousand dollars of total taxes, of which four thousand dollars was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back four thousand dollars. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. When? Go to irs.gov and do a transcript search. It reveals stuff you never knew. It reveals the tax return you filed, the tax return you filed, you paid, the taxes you paid. About seventy percent of the time, it reveals stuff you never knew. It reveals some stuff you don't want to know. It reveals some stuff you don't want people to see. <laughs> it revealed, really, what was Mitch's performance song uh, during his final appearance on Star Search? <laughs> and finally, it revealed the tax attorney, you're getting a refund check, and when, and can we top that? We can. As we go into the second part of your major four symbols check update of 2021 with breaking news starting right now. Deal. We got a deal. The deal is the price tag on the recon, $3.5 trillion. The Democratic senators have made the deal. It has a $3.5 trillion, meaning the recon will pass, and it will have a price tag, and it will be $3.5 trillion. Wow. This is incredible great news. How do we get to this spot? Well, we originally had a recon that was enormous, a behemoth that had roads and bridges in there. It was so big that the Democrats said, we're not going to vote in favor of it. Take roads and bridges out. So they did, and it shrunk the recon. By shrunking, shrinking the recon and taking roads and bridges out, it made the recon passable. A wonderful conservative publication confirms how that taking the roads and bridges out made the recon now passable. This article was written before the $3.5 trillion price tag was agreed upon. The higher the price tag was on the recon when the roads and bridges were in there, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. By allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending and put in the bipartisan and roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. <laughs> Sorry, Mitch. Sorry to set you up. But, we, you know, Mitch was set up, but now we, he realizes he doesn't care. Why? Because the Republicans love the recon. The Republicans love the recon, and that recon is heading to the finish line. 
Later in this video, I'm going to go over what the Republicans are doing. But first, I want you to go understand the names of these different items. For the first time on Noontime, I want to really make sure you understand these two different names because certainly what's happening tomorrow may confuse you. Recon is all your money. Bipartisan is roads and bridges. And that's not the problem. The problem is not the words I use on the channel. It's the president and other broadcast media are using other words. So these other words, let's go over them right now. What are the other words for recon? Reconciliation budget bill. You can recognize it by the price tag, $3.5 trillion, or the people are interviewed in the articles, like Bernie Sanders. Bipartisan, also called infrastructure, roads and bridges, price tag smaller, $1.5 trillion. People interviewed in the article, cited in the article, are often Kristen Sinema and Mitt Romney. So, wow. Now that they shrunk that recon to something smaller, the progressives are able to add some stuff back in there, and they got a price tag that they agreed to. It's a done deal. Congratulations. $3.5 trillion. I had been reporting this for a week before they got that $3.5 trillion agreement. Rich Representative Ricky Torres said, I needed a big enough recon, otherwise I'm not voting for the bipartisan. He got it. And then Representative Elon Omar said, we got to get a reconciliation that goes as far as we want it. Omar, Omar got it. Congratulations. And the progressives have been mean with the White House daily to ensure that that recon went big and bold enough. They got it. $3.5 trillion. Now, they got this because they were protecting the recon for weeks, as I have been reporting. Brian Schatz and Jalapal had said the president uh, considers the progressive priorities in the recon his own priorities, and away we go. But what is a recon? This is important to know. There's a, a, there's a procedural recon I'm not going to go over because it's boring. It's a substantive recon I'm going over. What is a recon? A recon is a reconciliation bill. In this case, it's written by Democrats for Democrats to be passed by Democrats. Who writes it? It's written by House subcommittee members. They're Democrats. It also has oversee from the Senate Democrats. They're part of the writing discussion. Who writes what subparts of the bill? Well, under the Constitution, different House subcommittees are delegated different subcommittees to write on. So the House Ways and Means subcommittee, they're responsible for writing about stimulus checks. They wrote your third. And they're also responsible for unemployment benefits. They wrote your last extension of unemployment benefits. When those subcommittees are done, let's say they have 10 pages they wrote and they agreed upon, and let's say there's 10 subcommittees, they combine all those 10 of 10, 100 pages, send it up to Nancy and Chuck, and if we start with Chuck, which we're likely to do, then he puts a big ass on it, and that's your bill. At that point, you see the reconciliation. But here's what you need to know. Under the Constitution, there's no requirement for them to show you what they have before then, and they're not. It's much like a pop singer with her album about to come out. She doesn't want you to see, hear her songs before the album is released. It's her prerogative. She wants to sort of debut the press event of it to all come out. Under the Constitution, they're not required to show you what they've written, what they've not written, what they've taken out, what they're not taken out. And that's where we are right now. I have been reporting to you, we don't have the recon, so you can't see the recon. And the mainstream media has seen the, said the same thing as well. That's why, if someone jumps in the comments and said, I haven't heard in the recon that, well, guess what? You haven't seen the recon. <laughs> None of us have seen the recon, nor has uh, mainstream media. So that's why you want to know what's in the recon, because it hasn't been released. <laughs> uh, and how do we get to this wonderful spot? From Jalapal, who had written a Schumer a letter saying, Chuck, call the vote. Now, that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats who are among 100 plus who had written the president a letter a week earlier saying, Mr. President, we're going to put monthly four stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. Wow. Now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? We can. As seven members of the House Ways and Means Committee, the same one you just mentioned? Yes, that same one. Wrote the president a letter recently saying, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. OMG. Wow, that's wonderful. We got to hold them to that promise. Absolutely. And they say they're doing fifth stimulus checks as well. That's coming up later in this video. Wow, it's getting exciting. Can we top that news? We can. With the news that the global minimum corporate tax rate minimum, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, is now officially a law. You saw the president four weeks ago over, go overseas internationally sign a ceremonial signature. Just ceremonial. The official signature was last week. This is about that thing I just said that is just a really horrible tongue twister. <laughs> What's the great news? They don't have to put it in the four stimulus recon. No one has to write about that confusing thing that I could barely say. Global minimum corporate tax rate internationally. I think I got that done. <laughs> so why is this great news? Number one. 
they don't have to write it. It makes it easier to write the Force Summons Recon. They have to put that confusing thing in there. Easier to call the vote. They have to put that confusing thing in there. <laughs> easier to vote on it. They have to vote on that confusing thing in there. And easier to pass it. That confusing thing ain't in there. There we go. Can we top that? We can. The final 15 has a lot of breaking news at noontime today. We'll be going over what's happening tomorrow. We'll be going over what's happening on Wednesday. We'll be going over what's happening the next 14 days and what could happen by the end of this week. We'll be going over the bills, the vote, the dates, the amounts, and everything you need to know and everything you should anticipate as well. We'll also go over where you have to push and when you have to push about as well. We'll also turn to fifth stimulus. As we see the Treasury yields are crashing on Wall Street, Wall Street down 800 points today because of Delta, is the signaling that inflation is dropping or not? <laughs> it's a little confusing, but I'll explain it to you coming up in a second. But something wonderful are the volunteers. If you've been in the live chat and you've seen the people post those incredible amounts of money and you want that money and you haven't gotten it, don't worry. Reach out to the volunteers. Their viewers are just like you. Reach out to them. And they're separated from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also social media. How do you find them? Open the description of this video. Go down the description and you'll see an emoji of a house click that emoji it'll send you over to the volunteers page that's news.la.com forward slash community on the volunteers page you can you can ask you can reach out to them and they'll help you with that rent that internet that snap and that homeowner's utilities here's a little bit about them i'll be back in 60 seconds with you with a big exciting final 15 of this four symbols jack update at noontime if you want money right now not five days from now and not five weeks from now then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right right now at noontime with incredible details in your final 15, going over the final 14 days, potentially, of the Force Stimulus. Really exciting. 14 days, potentially, till we're all done with this, and I'm going to go over that in the final 15 of this video. Uh, coming up next, of course, is Fist Stimulus with a shocking detail as a 10-year Treasury notes dropped to their lowest rate in weeks, months. Does that mean that our benefits on the Fist Stimulus are going to drop? I'll explain all the details. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. I want you to hit that subscribe button be part of this incredible family. Like the video, 2, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member and jump in the live chat. Coming up in, uh, after this is Afternoon's LA at 3 o'clock this afternoon. And then Evening's Allied as well. That will be a subscriber-only broadcast. You can jump in there. You do not have to be a member for those broadcasts. And here we go. Exciting details for Fist Stimulus. As the president has dedicated to you during, the trend, during his run for presidency that he was going to raise benefits up. He didn't do it. And then during his transition papers, he said he was going to raise your benefits up. He didn't do it. So congressional leaders have stepped up and saying they're doing the SSI and SSDI reform. In fifth stimulus this fall, this would go to a, a drafting in September out for a vote around October, November-ish, and then likely to start hitting your bank account about November, December. They'll raise your benefits up, then remove the asset limit, add inflation or benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over who gets this. You do. <laughs> SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, VA benefits, or multiple beneficiaries. All your benefits will be raised up one time. Then they're not done there yet. 
they apply a benchmark every year. This time it would be right after it applies, or after the vote, vote will be approved, around December. The new benchmark will be inflation, and inflation's going up. Last week, Jay Powell, the head of Federal Reserve, testified on Capitol Hill for the second time in two months and said the same thing, that inflation is going up to its highest point in December and then coming back down. It will be a temporary or what's called transitory peak of inflation before it comes down. But what's happening today? Well, Wall Street's crashing today because of concerns about Delta. Down dramatically, almost 700 points, 800 points at some points today. And... That was also as the 10-year Treasury note was down. Yes, both stocks and bonds were down. So am I concerned that the 10-year Treasury note fell to its lowest level in several weeks? Is that signal that inflation is going down? No, because inflation's different than interest rates. I know that they gauge the same thing, that uh, they are based upon growth. But inflation is tied more to how much things cost to buy. So things may cost more to buy, even if the economy is slowing and the 10-year Treasury note is dropping. So they're sort of, they sound sort of similar, but they are different. So I do believe that j Powell has it right, that inflation is still going to reach its highest point in December. Great news, because that's when they apply our benchmark. So how high? Well, last week, Wall Street was saying, my number, 5%. Wow. So first, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply that benchmark. And if that benchmark is 5%, your benefits will raise up 5%, not just next year, lifetime. Oh my goodness, that's great news. Then they're going to move the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't, you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. Now you'll be able to have a stimulus check and room for a Taco Tuesday. <laughs> they're going to remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer fear loss of benefits or be penalized. And there you go. Fifth stimulus will have another stimulus check. Those Democrats represent in that House Ways and Means that they're going to give you another stimulus check for next year. Great news. It will not overlap with the fourth. The president is dedicating $1 billion to the Social Security Administration to ensure your benefits come out on time. Great news there as well. If you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, you need to do two things. One, file a tax return. And two, on that tax return, request it. They haven't done both things. Reach out to a tax preparer. And finally... If you are watching the people in the live chat and you notice the people with that purple emoji hawk next to their name, and you wonder, I want one of those. How do I get one? Join. The link under the video says join. By becoming a member, you're delivered daily the big money you can get. If you notice the purple hawks, they have big sums of money. How do they have these big sums of money of rent, utilities, internet, snap? How are they getting these sums of money? Daily, I deliver to members only a breakdown of all the big monies that are available for you under all the stimulus packages. Third stimulus has fortunes. That's why viewers are getting five, 10, 15, 20, $23,000 daily from this channel because of the delivery of information I give them daily of what's in third stimulus. Third stimulus was passed past the 14 dollars stimulus check, but I said, hey, I'll be able to get you $14,000. Well, I'm getting viewers 23,000. In fall 2020, second stimulus passed with a $600 stimulus check. I said, I'll get you $6,000. Tyrone, I got $15,000. Well, guess what? When we get to fourth stimulus and it gets passed, there'll be a lot more money in there on top of that with a $3.5 trillion, and I'm going to get that for you as well. So consider becoming a member. And with that, are you ready? It's time for the final 15 of this video. A lot of breaking news. We're going to go over the recon, the bipartisan, the voting and everything, and it all starts right now. So there is a lot happening this week, and it's important to know what is what and what is not that. Let's go over first the recon, then we'll go to the bipartisan, and then we'll come back to the recon. So first the recon. Deal. $3.5 trillion. A deal has been reached to pass the recon at $3.5 trillion. It will pass. Number one, it will pass, and it will have a price tag of $3.5 trillion. Let's go over why, these two th why this is so wonderful for two reasons. Number one, it's huge because they have an agreement. The agreement is the first thing you got to do to pass a recon. And when you don't have an agreement on the price, things just don't go anywhere. But this is a huge achievement because, as Tim Kaine says, once you have an agreement on the price, all you do is slot the numbers in and you're done. Wow, exciting. So then the price tag, it's also a big reason of celebration. It's huge. It gives a lot of money to people. The recon is just checks. There's just only checks. Checks for this and checks for that. Checks for everyone. Bernie Sanders went into the meeting and said that he had asked for $7 trillion. 
but he agreed to half of that to basically do the same programs in just less of the time, probably half the time. And he said he's absolutely ecstatic with this. Now, how many times have you heard Bernie Sanders say he's ecstatic about something? I don't think I've ever heard it in the history of the channel. He's never, <laughs> you know, remember Bernie with the mittens? He just always has this sort of grumudgeon look. He's ecstatic. He says this is the first time a historic day in this country where people are going to see a lot of money. So $3.5 trillion is a fortune. Remember, this is just checks. Recon is just checks. It's just money on top of money on top of money for all different walks of life. Now, early in this video, I told you that we're not going to see the recon until it's ready for a vote, just like a pop singer who doesn't show you the songs on her album until the album's released. But I got a surprise. I have some of the provisions for you from the recon. A conservative publication thought that they would run sort of a negative piece talking about how horrible the recon is and how the provisions are just spending, spending, spending. So the purpose of the article is not to show you all the provisions of the recon. It's not all the provisions of the recon. It's just some of them. But boy, there's a lot of checks in there and a lot of checks for a lot of different people. Here we go. F checks for free school meals for all. Checks for tax breaks. Checks for cheaper prescription medication. Checks for immigration reform. Checks for farming. Checks for elections. Checks for the internet. They're going to be giving fortunes to local cities so they can have their own internet company and give it to you for free. Free internet. Checks for clean energy. And then come the exciting checks. There are checks for workers, checks for independent contractors, checks for unions, checks for seniors, checks for Medicare, checks for dental, checks for vision, checks for hearing. Lord, that's a lot of checks. It's $3.5 trillion of them. Wonderful news. Let's cut over to the bipartisan now. Deal. The bipartisan group says that they can get a deal for the deal provisions of what which road and which bridge in the infrastructure by last Thursday. But they worked all weekend long because they think they're going to get that done. They say it's not much of an issue. And they say once they have the deal provisions of what's in those roads and bridges, then they just write it up in bill format. Just takes a matter of a few hours a day and they're done. Who said this? Mitt Romney. Uh, this is important because he does things very quickly. If you've been with me, I've done a thousand videos on Mitt Romney where he just writes very quickly. Like in a few hours, it's done. He doesn't write like Nancy where it takes 12 years. <laughs> Uh, so I'm very excited for that. Next, they also said, the bipartisan, the infrastructure, the roads and bridges group, that they think the vote will be on their bill this week. <gasps> this week? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I like to be optimistic. I like to be positive. But I, yeah, no, I, I don't know if it'll get done this week. I think it's more like next week. Me, uh, mainstream media says that's very, 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 very possible thinking that they think it's more like next week. But guess why? This is great news for us. Because remember, the recon goes for a vote before the bipartisan. So if the bipartisan's for a vote next week, then hey, maybe we can do the recon for a vote this week. Wow. Exciting details. How many votes? They need nine votes. 12 votes for three bills. We have a recon procedural, recon substantive, and bipartisan. Three times four. They got to do three times. Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, House president. Doesn't take 12 days. There you go. Exciting details. Okay, so there will be a vote on Tuesday, and there will be a discussion on Wednesday. But here is why knowledge is king. In spring of last year, people were knocking their EIDL loans approved because there was something strange about how they do them, something strange about what they were supposed to do. And that's what I did. Thousands of videos about use this information to get this and use this information to get that. And here is the information about what's happening over the next 40 hours. You absolutely have to follow this because this is king. Information is king. All right. On Tuesday, Chuck Schumer will call a vote to end discussion shortly thereafter, in a day or so later, on the bipartisan infrastructure. Let's say that again. It's a call to vote, not on a bill, but to end discussion on the infrastructure, the roads and bridges, not that day, but shortly thereafter. Pretty simple, now it's simple. So what's important for you to understand is that it's not going to pass. <laughs> no one thinks it's going to pass. I don't think Chuck even thinks it's going to pass. Uh, because the bill isn't written yet. But it's great news because he's pushing them to get it done. That's why they worked over the weekend. Wonderful, wonderful news. On Wednesday, they'll have a meeting about the, the recon, but not a vote about anything. 
Now, as an informed viewer, it's important for you to stay informed. Because along the way, there's some people who want to jump in the live chat or the comments, and with their inability to want to watch a whole video and be informed, or their reluctance to know what's going on, or they're not willing to take the time to learn what's going on, will jump into the comments and post hideously incorrect information to confuse other people and make people think that they miss something. And when these people post these comments, they actually think they know more than us. No, you actually know less. In fact, you know nothing. Here's what they're likely to say, these uninformed people, on Tuesday. I heard Chuck called a vote on the infrastructure bill. No, they didn't call a vote on the infrastructure bill. It's not written. It was a vote to call, end the discussion of the negotiations on what will be the infrastructure. Oh, okay. Or they may actually do even more crazier things. I heard Chuck Schumer called a vote on the infrastructure to end discussions, and it failed. So we're not getting anything. <laughs> now, that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> it's just to end a discussion on the infrastructure. And then they're going to get the bills wrong. I heard Chuck called a vote on the recon on Tuesday, and there was no stimulus check in there. Chuck didn't mention a stimulus check, hence there is no one. No, he did not call a vote on the, on the recon on Tuesday. In fact, he didn't call a vote on any bill on Tuesday. <laughs> I heard Chuck called a vote on stimulus, and he didn't give it to us on Tuesday. No, he didn't call a vote on stimulus on Tuesday. Where did you get this crazy stuff about? <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen Tuesday. These people that simply just sort of don't want to hear the whole story. You just want to hear one word and sort of jump in and say they know it all. No, you know absolutely nothing. <laughs> you just, you need to catch up. <laughs> now, then on Wednesday, Chuck is having a meeting about the recon. Again, no vote. But I fully expect someone to jump on the chat and say, there's a vote on Wednesday. No, there's no vote on Wednesday either. <laughs> now, the exciting details is that we're getting into a very, very tight horizon. When these things start to move very quickly, they move quickly. And what's important to know is that you need to push every step of these final few days. It may be less than 14 days from now. Here's what's at issue and what's happening. And I'm going to give you the reference point. In April of last year, Nancy Pelosi debuted the HEROES Act. An enormous stimulus package, which would have been the second stimulus package, never got done. Never saw it. A lot of talk, a lot of walk, nothing got happened. And then fall of De and when December came around, the holidays was kicking in, I said, uh, you have that continuing resolution bill that pays for the federal government and operates the federal government. Why not put a stimulus check in there? <laughs> People thought I was crazy. They said, what is that kid saying? Put a stimulus check in the CR? Who does that? That's just crazy. No one does that. Well, we started the campaign. I started the campaign. CR for stimulus, you push. And it went trending nationally. And then suddenly they noticed and they said, ah, oh, we're going to put some stimulus in the CR. Unemployment stimulus. We're like, no, that's not what we're saying. We're talking about stimulus check. Here's what happened, and this is what's important for you to understand the context of this. It took several days for them to get the, the realization that they needed to put a stimulus check in the CR in December 2020. Uh, and finally, they said yes. But in some days, <laughs> I remember those days, we woke up in the morning and the check was out. By the noontime, the check was back in. Then the check was bigger, then the check was smaller, then the eligibility was changed. Things were just changing by the hour. And then finally, we had it all perfect until Pat Toomey came around. <laughs> the Toomey thing came out, and I remember where it was. If you watched me last night when I was recording live on the beach, it was exactly there where I heard the news. Pat Toomey in December 2020 said, I'm going to kill the whole stimulus package. I don't like something. It had nothing to do with stimulus. It had something to do about some provision about things expiring. And suddenly, for five hours, it looked like everything was going to implode. We pushed back. They got it done. Mitt Romney was actually one of the forces who got it done, and it got it done. So it's important for you to know, Purple Power, that you got to push. The Purple Power push is about pushing. It's not about asking. Donut guy's about asking. When? 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 My donut's soggy. When am I getting the check? When is the vote? When is it this? When are they doing this? When? 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 That's not Purple Power Push. Purple Power Push is pushing. Telling them to do it. You need to call the vote on the bipartisan. You need to get that bipartisan bill written on. You need to finish the bipartisan. You're holding up our recon. You need to get this bipartisan done. You need to ensure that the stimulus checks are in the recon. You need to keep your promise, House Ways and Means Subcommittee, that the stimulus checks are in there. You promise you need to keep your promise. You need to keep the promise that there's stimulus checks in there. You need to keep the promise of the eligibility of the stimulus checks. You need to keep your promise. 
You got to push purple power because in those final few days, everyone is fighting for a slice of the pie. $3.5 trillion was exciting for Bernie, but guess what? Bernie wants some of that money. So does the next person down in the next seat in the Senate sitting next to him. They want to slice that money. Everyone wants to slice of some money. And you have to push because ultimately, it's not done till it's done. When that recon bill is debuted, I don't want you to think one way or the other because guess what? Things get modified. Viewers have been asking me, do they still do a Votorama this way? I don't really know the answer. I think they do. They're going to start on the Senate side, then go to the House side. I think the Constitution requires a Votorama in the Senate where um, both sides can make amendments. So they could still make amendments at any time. Not law yet until the final step of the wood, step of the, bo uh, of, uh, the button. And there you go. Along the way, it's important to keep positive, keep motivated, and keep inspired. Tonight on Evenings LA, if you missed on Mornings LA, I'll have a special message about what Sirloin has done for one viewer and his father. If you missed it, it's on the end of Mornings LA, but it'll also be on tonight's Evenings LA. But for now, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record, fastest growing crypto, fastest growing channel there is across the board. I want you part of this incredible family. I'm back with you with new shows on Afternoons and Evenings LA tonight on this channel, then Overnight's Crypto and then Sirloin. Like the video, too, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Uh, becoming a member and getting access to all that incredible money in this incredible third stimulus. There's a lot of money there for you to get, and I want you to get it. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful noontime, and I'll see you at 3 o'clock on Afternoons LA.